You know, we haven't seen Milwaukee in a long time, but it's a big game for both teams, Jim. Well, it certainly is. We talked about that with Doug Collins before tonight's game. Well, you know, we've we've come in here and won earlier in the year, right before Thanksgiving, played a real outstanding game on our West Coast trip, and uh, we're 2-0 and against this team, so it's a very pivotal game for them. Uh, we need this game also. We've struggled in our last couple games shooting, so uh, Milwaukee would like to make this a series, and we'd like to be able to get back on the right, uh, right column and get a nice win tonight. The Bulls 2-0 and against Milwaukee, but they've got a couple guys now they didn't have then. Well, that's right. They'll have Moncrief back to play, and they'll have Ricky Pierce to play, Jimmy, but the uh, Bulls can do it. It's going to be a good one. Stay with us. We'll be back with the introductions after we stop for these messages on the Bulls Basketball Network. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Milwaukee Arena for tonight's NBA Central Division game featuring... The Chicago Bulls and the Milwaukee Bucks. Now the starting lineups for tonight's game. For the Chicago Bulls, at forward from Virginia Union, 6'9", number 34, Charles Oakley. At forward from Ohio State, 7 foot, number 6, Brad Sellers. At center, from George Washington, 6'9", number 17, Mike Brown. At guard, from North Carolina, 6'6", number 23, Michael Jordan. At guard, from Villanova, 6'2", number 2, Rory Sparrow. And coaches, Doug Collins. Doug Collins with the usual lineup of Sellers and Oakley at the forwards. Brown at the center spot. Jordan and Sparrow at the guard line. Now for the Bucks. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here are your Milwaukee Bucks. At forward from DePaul, 6'9, number 34, Terry Cummings. At forward, from Illinois Wesleyan, seven foot, number 43, Jack Sigma. At center, from Minnesota, seven three, number 45, Randy Brewer. At guard, from Arkansas, six four, number four, Sydney. Moncrief. At guard from Tulsa, 6'5", 25, Paul Pressey. Gal Harris with Cummings and Sigma and Brewer up front. That's a powerful, potent front line. Moncrief and Pressey are the guards. And the officials tonight. Paul Mahalik and Bernie Fryer. You're looking at the matchups of this game. The Bulls are going to have difficulty at the following positions. Pressy and Sparrow for sure, because they'll probably want to send Pressy into the post. Rory's much shorter than he is. Uh, Mike Brown will have to guard 7-3 Randy Brewer. The other spots, not so bad, although Oakley will really have to go at it and bang with Sigma, but of course that's Charles game. Yeah, well he'll give up uh, the offensive part to Sigma but Sigma has got to try to keep him off the boards which he has not done very well. Bulls with two victories this season in the two meetings and the Bulls have won seven of the last nine games with Milwaukee. Randy Brewer to go up against Brad Sellers. Paul Mahalik to toss it in the air. And this game is underway as the Bucks control the tip. Roll back for the Bulls. Off to the right. Bounce pass to Jordan. Baseline right against Pressey. Michael Fakes kicks it out to Oakley. Charles lobs it to Sellers in a three-second call against Mike Brown. Sigma holding top of the circle. Right side Pressey comes up shooting good. Paul Pressey hits the shot down low right. And the Bucks have the 2 nothing lead. Him head of the key, Sellers. And coming across the lane, Oakley, and a foul called on Jack Sigma. We said that matchup would be physical, and it is. And Sigma gets the personal foul. All the way, it's loose on the floor. Mike Brown down, and he is tied up with Terry Cummings. 10-20 left in the quarter. 
Cummings tips it, but Sparrow bats at it and takes a break away to the other end. Lays it up, blocked by Moncrief, and it is in play to Milwaukee, and Doug Collins wants a goal to end. It wasn't Paul Pressey's short shot from the left is in. Paul Pressey, six, the Bulls, two. Milwaukee pushes it, Moncrief against Jordan. They double on Moncrief and a foul call as Rory Sparrow jumped in and picked up the personal foul. Rory Sparrow. Camera angle not good to judge on this, but oh, I'll tell you what, they're going at it pretty good, Mahalik and Doug. Now when we get another look at this replay by Sparrow, oh, tipped away, Jordan has it. Here comes Michael on the drive, takes it in, feeds Sellers for the lay, missed the layup, taken down by Sigma, a fadeaway jumper, missing. Rebound, loose ball foul called against the Bulls. It's on Charles Oakley, says Paul Mahalik. On that play, uh, when he went, uh, Michael Jordan gave him a layup underneath and looked like he was going to... Looked like he got fouled, first of all, by Moncrief. Here's Cummings with a shot up left of the circle right through. Terry Cummings puts Milwaukee up by three with a Sparrow outside on the walk to the right against Moncrief. Takes it back between the circles. Bounce pass to Jordan. Turnaround shot right of the lane. Good. Michael Jordan with his first two points. It's a one-point Milwaukee lead. Comes in to Sparrow. Oakley has it out top of the key against Sigma. Right side Jordan. Michael sidesteps Brewer in the lane. Pull-up shot. Banked it in. What a tough Michael shot. It was so easy for him. He had that big Brewer standing out front. He had to play it off the glass and out front. A one-point Bulls lead. Left standing dribble. Head of the key, Moncrief. Right side is Cummings. Cummings shoots the long one on Sellers. It's in. Terry Cummings has four. And Milwaukee up by one. A dribble. Out front is Moncrief. Over the top pass into Brewer for the dunk. Randy Brewer with his first two points, and Milwaukee leads by three. Charles off with the body, went up and just stuffed it. Michael Jordan in the Bulls front court. Four straight points for the Bucks. Jordan outside left, works right around the Mike Brown screen. Foul line, feet Sparrow, right corner shot, Rory. Nope. Rebound, Moncrief. He's got Cummings up court with a pass, and Cummings lays it in. Terry Cummings scoring on the break, and Milwaukee leads by five. Six straight points for the Bucks. Sparrow into the front court for the Bulls with 6.16 left in the quarter. Rory Sparrow outside, feeds it right side to Jordan. Michael fakes on Pressy, eight to shoot. Oh, Jordan on the drive in the lane, dumps it to Brown. Short jumper left of the key, missing. Sick for the rebound. Hands the ball to Pressy. Bulls come out with Sparrow, Jordan, Oakley, Sellers, and Brown. Milwaukee with Pressy still in there, even though he's picked up two personal fouls, and Randy Brewer also still in the game. Backs in on Sellers. Out front, Paul Pressy. Ooh, comes up shooting ahead of the key. Rimming good. Paul Pressy hit the shot as an afterthought. He wanted a pass to Moncrief, but Jordan jumped into the passing lane. He had that lane right there. Lead Sparrow off to the right. Standing dribble against Moncrief. Sellers top of the circle. Left side, Jordan. Michael left baseline. Dishes for Oakley. Lost the ball. Sigma out with it. Moncrief on the drive, in for the left, stops the dribble, inside Brewer, his shot no good, but a foul called on Mike Brown, and Randy Brewer on the line as Mike Brown picks up his first foul. Dave Corzine, we haven't seen him since the Phoenix game on the West Coast trip, will come in. Tommy sees all right, and if he were on Wheel of Fortune, he said, what would you have said to Vanna White? I'll buy an eye. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Randy Brewer hits the free throw. And Charles Oakley comes away with the ball, gives it up to Sparrow. Sparrow up court, into Jordan, low right. Michael turns, wheels on Pressy in deep, hook pass back out to Sellers, short shot on the lane, good. Brad Sellers floated home a 12-footer, and it's a four-point Milwaukee lead. Ricky Pierce ready to come into the game for the Bucks. Close with balance scoring, and they've got the big guy scoring for them. Right side is Moncrief. Over the top, Pressy wheels in on Sparrow. Hits the short jumper. Ten points for Paul Pressy already. Well, we said it, it would be a tough one, and it is. Milwaukee up six with four minutes left in the quarter. Cold shooting has hit the Bulls again. Here's Pressy in for the left. Dishes to Moncrief down the lane. His shot blocked, but a foul call on Sellers. And Moncrief on the line as Sellers picks up his second foul. And now Pippen comes in for Sellers. Ricky Pierce comes in for Randy Brewer. So that'll put Sigma back in his normal position at center. They'll put Pressy up in the power forward spot. They've got a pretty good ball club right now. You know it. 
Moncrief hits the free throw. Of course, what Milwaukee is looking at with Moncrief back in the last four games, averaging over 17 points and six assists. And Milwaukee's looking at building confidence now that they're uh, healthy with Moncrief and that they have Pierce back in the fold and looking to overhaul the Bulls in this playoff chase. That's why this game is so important to them over the long term. Second one is in. Six point lead. Pressy brings it up for the Bucks. Michael Jordan guards him. Pressy at the top of the key. Left side Pierce feeds it to Cummings. Left baseline against Oakley. Cummings long jumper. Good out of the left corner. Terry Cummings has eight. Got to keep him. Plays the ball right side to Oakley. Charles dumps it into Jordan. Stolen by Cummings. He just backed up and made the steal of the lob pass to Michael. Now Pressy coming back. it up. No. Rebound Jordan. Michael out on the drive. Feeds three. Pull up jumper from the right side, missing, and it's taken out of there by Terry Cummings. Three off to the right, gives to Pippen. Scotty feeds the ball into Jordan underneath. It's knocked out of bounds by Milwaukee. Timeout Bulls, 2.05 left in the quarter. Eight point Milwaukee lead, 23 15 on the Bulls network. Scotty Pippen, baseline right, comes into Jordan. Michael holding in the right corner, 12 to shoot. Jordan on the drive, in deep, shoots it up. No foul call. Michael. Drove inside and drew the foul on Jack Sigma, and that is the second foul on Sigma. They've got three across that front line that started for him, and Michael just makes a good move. Uh, Sigma went back to try to. Anyway, Larry Kristowiak at 6'10 comes in to replace Sigma. Michael Jordan missing the first free throw attempt. They're hurting, too, now with Mokeski, one of their big people out that they can get six fouls from. I mean, utilize their, his six fouls. Mm -hmm. Jordan knocks the second one down. It is a seven-point lead for the Bucs as Pressy brings it up. Free throw Number a moment five. ago. Jordan out of the game. Seller split two free throws, and now Corzine trying to split two free throws. Second one is in. Milwaukee still up six. One for the key, Hodges. Right side, he plays to Pierce, drives in on Pippen, lefty layup, good. Ricky Pierce to the hoop, scoring with the left hand. Rebound tipped away, Milwaukee with it, Pressy on the drive into the front court. Paul Pressy down the lane to the hoop, dunked it to the foul. And nobody stopped him, he went all the way. A wide figure eight loop down the lane. And a foul. At six for six for Pressy, he looks like an all-star right here. I think they're confused on who they're supposed to be guarding. He just came right down the lane and went up over Scotty Pippen and slammed it on down through. Paul Pressey, with 49 seconds left, has everybody in the lane, and the free throw is good. He's got 13 points. Milwaukee up 11. Seconds. Three on the drive against Pressey, in for the right, four seconds. Three coming out, shoots the shot right of the circle. And after one, the Bulls down 11. 30 to 19 on the Bulls Network. I want to wish you happy birthday, Jim Durham. My hero, your hero, another day older, and there you are, man. Full of life. <laughs> hey, me and Abe Lincoln. <laughs> it's President's Day. You're president of your own company. Yeah. The great thing about growing up in Illinois was I always got my birthday off. Didn't have to go to school, right? Hook pass in to Grant, turnaround shot, no. Rebound Brewer. Gets it deep, fakes, fakes, lays it in. Finally, they score inside. Pushes it on the drive, takes it in, lays it up, no good. Taken down by Christoia. One time the Bulls push it and get a layup, but no basket. Christoiak, a bounce pass, low light, in deep to Reynolds. The shot goes and a foul called. Jerry Reynolds stands stripped him from the ball. Now the Bulls on the break. Three feeds packs in right corner. Back out to Sedale. There's Scotty open. Left of the lane. Takes it down the lane to the hoop for the dunk. And that's what the Bulls have right. to do. Get aggressive with the ball. Go to the bucket. 34-23. This is not the best team for the Bucks out there at this stage. You've got to make hay now. That's it. Street side steps. Pierce kicked at it. And now comes into the front court. Grant down the lane to the two-hand jam. And the Bulls able to score off the delayed break. His first. Oh, Two talked. dunks by the Bulls Reds, and I think yeah. what that may do is that may really help open things up for them. Yeah, both by the rookies. Going for the Bulls. 
Inside Scotty Pippen, the short shot is banked in. Pippen scoring underneath. So the Bulls now with three baskets right under the hoop. 12 to shoot. Jerry Reynolds plays it down low right. They get it back inside to Pierce for the layup. And a foul. And a foul call as the Bulls reacted late. The foul is on Pippen, and Scotty Pippen has two. And the foul. A little slow reacting as Kristoriak threw it underneath. Uh, found Pierce with the ball. The seems like every foul that the Bulls have committed now has been going to the hoop for two or, or a three-point play. Yep. And Ricky Pierce delivers the free throw. Perfect. He has seven. Packs it right side, plays it left to Horace Grant. Jordan has it now. Michael left lane. Feeds Grant underneath for the layup. Horace Grant with six. So that's four straight baskets by the Bulls off layups or dunks. In the paint, yes, that's yep. right. Here is Reynolds against Jordan. Over the floor, Horace Grant grabs it, dishes to Pippen. Scotty brings it up ahead to Jordan. Michael left the lane, pulls up, back to Pippen in low left. Scotty to the hoop, lays it in. Another layup for the Bulls as they cut the lead to eight with 7.17 left. The rookies have come up with three hoops apiece here in this stretch. You need that athletic ability, and that, of course, is what Horace Grant and Scotty Pippen bring to this team. Bulls with a problem now fouls all the way to the rest of this quarter with 6.55 to go. Milwaukee, no team fouls. Michael Jordan off to the left. Gives it up to Corzine. Back to Jordan outside left. Jordan against Reynolds. Jump pass inside to Horace Grant. Another layup. If you're patient, you'll get him. And Horace Grant has eight on four buckets under the hoop. It's 41-33. Jumper missed it. Rebound Michael Jordan. Here come the Bulls with a chance to cut it to six. Jordan picks his way and comes into the front court. Off to the right against Reynolds. Dishes for Pippen. Scotty dribbled the ball out of bounds. It was knocked out by Milwaukee. And with 6-12 left to go in the half. Timeout taken. It is Milwaukee 41, Chicago 33 on the Bulls basketball network. Family motion picture 2001, a space odyssey. Bulls fans in attendance tonight here in Milwaukee. As the Bulls sit out to the left, 10 to shoot. Here's Pippen, pull up shot, left baseline, bank no good. Jack Sigma the rebound. That's the first outside attempt by the Bulls in this quarter. It's right ahead of the key, right side Cummings. Picks it up with six to shoot. Here's Sigma right of the lane, turns on Grant. Inside pass to Cummings for the layup. Bucks were patient and they score inside and they lead by 10. Jackson in the Bulls front court. Horace Grant, right baseline jumper on the way in and out, and it's taken down by Sigma. And we go back inside. Then he packs it, packs in the front court to Pippen left corner. Scotty fakes, leans in, hang shot, banked it in. Scotty Pippen scoring. He has eight, and the Bulls are within eight again with five minutes. It's funny, the two rookies are the ones that took the two outside shots, shots to break the streak. Now the rookie comes back again with an inside shot. Grassy bounce pass into Sigma, tipped away. Pippen coming out with it. Loose ball foul, Jack Sigma. That's his third. First team foul on Milwaukee. Good play again by Pippen, active on this floor. He likes the Mecca floor. Number three on Big Jack Sigma. Now Brewer will flip that jacket off, and when they get some time, he'll get in here, but not now. Here's Jordan off to the left against Pressy. Corzine returned to Jordan for the dunk as Michael drove the left baseline. The Bulls have cut it to six. They are cutting the Bucks to shreds on the inside play. Pressy's picked it up. Sigma low left. They double, and Pippen steals it from Sigma. Here comes Scotty pushing it on the dribble. Brings it down all the way. Feeds Corzine in for the right, and he lays it in. Another basket off the layup. The Bulls within four and 4-12 four left in the half as Dell Harris takes time. 43-39 the score on the Bulls in first half. Michael Jordan in the backcourt, pressured by Pressy. Jordan accelerates, dribbles into the front court. Out front is Paxson. Paxson the drive, right corner of Horace Grant. He comes up shooting, came up a little short. Milwaukee out. It triples outside to Milwaukee. Cummings in from the left all the way to the hoop. Shoots it in, draws it oh, back. And continuation on Paxson's foul. The rebound of Cummings missed free throw. 46-39 bucks. 3-10 left in the half. Michael Jordan outside left. Works around a Corzine screen. They double on him out front. Pippen has it. There's Corzine wide open to the left. Scotty goes baseline right. Gives to Jordan. Eight to shoot. Six on the clock. Jordan against Moncrief. Michael on the drive in for the right. Hangs the ball off to Horace Grant for the layup. Michael Jordan on the assist. 
Harris Reed outside on the dribble, 16 to shoot. Here's Jordan left side, drives across the lane, feeds Corzine, right baseline shot, banked it in. Dave Corzine has five. The Bulls are within four again with 2.14 left to go in the half. Creep into the front court, Cummings right of the lane, launches a 20-footer, book it. Terry Cummings with 14 points of the game. Milwaukee leads by eight. Got that locker room down to only about six. Three off to the right into Jordan and a foul call. They had one to take, and so Pressy took it, but that's his third. As soon as it went into the post, Pressy made sure Michael Jordan didn't get the shot up. Corzine hands to three, shot clock at 13. Here's Jordan in the left corner against Pressy, 10 to shoot. Michael in from the left side, underneath for the dunk. Michael Jordan with a two-hand jam. It's a four-point game, 53 seconds left. Paul Pressey off to the left, calling a play for Milwaukee. Pressey against Jordan, runs into Jordan. Takes it left, lost the ball to Corzine. Corzine up court to Jordan in a foot race. Michael in for the right, scoops it in. It's a two-point game with 36 seconds left. Play by Corzine, come up with a steal on that play. And took it away for Pressey. Real well. They continued to do the same thing, and then Michael went along the baseline. He just, like he was weaving a, a, a thread, a, a seam, went right down and stuffed the ball. Then he came down uh, as Corzine gave him a nice flip lead pass. He finally got control of the ball, just laid it up, uh, underhand uh, scoop. Oh, and man. <laughs> Bulls trail by two, 27 seconds to go. Michael's got 11 points tonight. He has a free throw to go with his five buckets. I'll tell you what's really done it here. Milwaukee nursing a two-point lead. It's the Milwaukee Bucks 53, the Chicago Bulls 51 on the Bulls Basketball Network. Michael Jordan, by the way, besides 11 points, has handed that ball off for six assists so far in the game. The Bulls come out with three Pippen, Jordan, Brown, and Oakley. The left Brewer against Brown, low left. Randy Brewer across the lane. The shot's blocked by Pippen. He took a page out of Michael's book. Here's Pippen on the drive in the front court. In for the right side, shoots it up. Nope, rebound Brewer. Bucks come back with a two-point lead. Not a good shot. Nope, forced it, and then not a good foul. Oh, that's four now on him. Yep. Scotty Pippen with his fourth foul as he picked up the body foul in the backcourt. Made the good play, but he had to come down and either take the jumper or something to the hoop. Now Brad Sellers will be back in for him. Here's Cummings on the move against Pippen in the lane. Lead in shot, rimming good. Terry Cummings got the kind of bounce. 16 points for him. Milwaukee up and loses the ball as Pierce, or rather a pressy, comes away with it. Cold shooting and turnovers hurting the Bulls here early in the third. Outside left is Cummings. Shoots over Sellers. Book it. Terry Cummings has 18. Milwaukee opens with the first four points of the third quarter and leads it by six. Pressy off to the right, guarded by Jordan. Moncrief head of the key over the top. Brewer turns with a lefty hook and hits it. Randy Brewer with his second field goal. He's got six points in the game. The outside in and out, sick with a rebound. Pressy comes up the floor. In to Brewer, right-handed hook, banked it in. Brewer has booked into two hooks around Mike Brown, one left, one right. And it's a 10-point lead for Milwaukee as Dale Threat comes into the front court and calls time. Timeout Chicago, 8.31 for the third, 63-53 bucks on the Bulls Network. When you are 6'9", like Mike Brown, it is hard to stop a 7'3 guy. Talk to him on the radio a little bit about that, Jim, about shooting that hook shot. He likes to shoot the left shot. He likes to go to the right. Same position. Had his man that beat that way. Went up for the right hand. Threw it off the glass. And you're right. 7'3 against 6'9". The, the right-handed hook actually was against Oakley. Bulls are one of seven. Well, he's 6'9". Yep. Seven from the field in this quarter. Milwaukee, four of five. And now it's the Bucks getting the great shots. And thus, they have stepped out to a 10-point lead. Bucks in a 10-2 run. Second one is in. Paul Mahalik telling Charles Oakley, stop it. You and Randy Brewer right now. 63-54. Nine-point lead for Milwaukee. Pressy into the front court. Pressy off to the right. Leans over the dribble against Jordan. 
Out front, Sigma. Plays the shot. Oh. Jordan, the rebound ahead to Charles Oakley on a bust out. And Oakley Seven. with a double. Delay of game warning after the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you got a breakaway stuff, and we got a delay of game warning. <laughs> Into the front court is Pressy, guarded by Jordan. Pressy on the move to the right. Michael fights him defensively. Head of the key, Cummings. Outside left is Sigma. Dumps it into Brewer. Right hand hook is in. Randy Brewer with 10 6 in this third quarter on three hook shots to the right. Bounce pass out to three. 16 to shoot. Sedale three with 12 on the clock on the drive. The right side. Three has it back. Jordan with it right corner. 12 to shoot. Michael on the move against Moncrief to the hoop. Lays it in with the left hand. Michael Jordan has 13. The Bulls trail by seven again. Pierce back in the lineup. Michael Jordan out to the left against Moncrief. Now they show double team. Jordan a hook pass to Corzine. Back to Jordan to the hoop. He is foul hard. As Michael attacked the basket. That, that's foul is on Pierce. The foul, the hard foul, Jimmy, was because I think he had a piece of the ball. And Michael was going to go up to stuff it. And when you've got the ball, no, he no, didn't. He had, he had a no piece ball. of the arm. Jerked him to the floor, and Michael Jordan on the line to shoot two. Well, you can see why Milwaukee would be a little foul tempered around the basket. They were dunked on and layuped on in that second quarter. That's how they lost their lead. Jordan hits the free throw. Michael with 14 points in the game. The Bulls within six, and 6.01 left in the third. Michael's second free throw right through. Jordan's got 15. And now the Milwaukee lead has been whittled to five. Into the front court for the box is Pressy. Sigma out of high, hands to Pressy, cut by to the right, shoots no good. Foul on Jordan. Blocking foul, says Paul Mihalik. First foul on Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Good job of defense by Jordan. He stepped that right out behind that screen. Slid right through. That was an offensive yeah. foul. It, the replay showed that it was Pressy who stuck the elbow into Jordan. He misses both free right. throws and Oakley the rebound. Now a bucket makes it a three-point game. Jordan into the front court, off to the left. Works top of the key, hooks to Corzine. Outside jumper by Corzine, missed from the left side, rebound Milwaukee. Pressy against Jordan, works at foul line. Michael poked it away, Pressy picks it. Here's the Dale Threat into the front court for the Bulls. Outside left, left corner, Corzine. Out front is Oakley. Threat has it back, works left, foul on Jordan, knocked down. Pressy trying to position on the post. Offensive foul on Michael, that's his second. Not shooting foul, but it'll give them possession to go. Uh, the big guy Brewer out for Stoyak in at John Lucas. In and out. Taken down by Christoyak. Lucas brings it up. If you don't get to the foul line up, we're going to start making it. Lucas right side leans over the dribble against three. Works around a Sigma screen. Lucas takes it off to the left hand to shoot. Lucas works foul line, picks it up. Left side is Sigma, five on the clock. Sigma against Corzine. Left baseline jumper. Rimming, no. Rebound, Michael Jordan. He goes baseline in the lane. Short jumper, rimming, no. Michael Jordan, another rebound. Jordan comes back on the dribble as the Bulls look to tie. Jordan against Jerry Reynolds. Works left of the lane, triple team. Out front is Oakley. Shot clock at 12. Oakley with a pass down the lane to Jordan. He tries to save it. He does to 3 to 8 to shoot. And Halverson will answer the phone when you call 943-5800. Chicago Bowl. That's right. Oceans, the band performing here. They played at the All-Star game. Jim did a great job. Between the circles, takes it left to Ricky Pierce. Pierce on the drive, pass Sellers to the hoop, had it knocked away, foul called. Ricky Pierce shoots two. All right, there now he comes back on the right, beats Brad to the hoop. Runs into a bunch of red shirts there. Foul was on Horace Grant, his third. Pierce is six for six on the line since he came back to the club. Hits that, that gives him four for four in this game and perfect in seven tries. The Bulls had a chance to tie it there. Missed two free throws, Missed now two. they come down and make at least one. We have not made free throws tonight. Pierce pushes, good. Milwaukee up four. Pierce open, right baseline jumper missing. And on the rebound, loose ball foul on Larry Kristoyak. And Kristoyak has recorded his third. 
go to the other end, shoot a couple. They're really trying to take advantage of Sellers here. Uh, Pierce is running him off the of screens offensively, and on the other end, uh, Brad tried to, to post him, but he just wouldn't let him feel the body, and then uh, was able to steal the ball. Now Patch comes in to give Michael Jordan a rest at uh, 125, Jim. Horace steps to the line. He has not been there yet. This evening. 61% free thrower. Horace Grant had 10 second quarter points tonight. Has 11 now as he hits the free throw. 69-66 Milwaukee. The Bulls have been chasing all night. They caught him a time or two. Could never wrestle the lead, though. Grant missed the next one. Long rebound for Stoyak. Thank you. Or for Monday afternoon, I should say. Hey, Jim, I'm just going through my scorebook here. Sigma has not scored for them. Moncrief has four free throws in the game. Hodges has not scored for him. Okay, but I'm... <laughs> the Bulls held him to 16 points in that quarter. Rocky will work the ball the length of the floor. Left to right, Michael Jordan back for the Bulls. Jordan, Paxson, Grant, Sellers, and Corzine. Milwaukee Pierce, right side is Lucas. On the move to the top of the key. Swings it left to Jerry Reynolds. Jordan has him. Inside pass tipped out of bounds by Michael Jordan. Ten to shoot. Shot clock at six. Five to shoot. Here's a pass loose. Jordan fights for the ball. It is saved in play by Milwaukee. And they got a breakaway. Here here comes Pierce to Lucas for the layup. Michael Jordan coming into the front court against Reynolds. Jordan off to the left. Hook pass off to Kuzma. Went right to Paxson. Here's Reynolds coming back to the hoop. Lays it in. Milwaukee up three. Man, the Milwaukee Bucks knew exactly where Corzine was going with that pass. Finally got the lead at the end of three, but now Milwaukee up five. Here's Jordan, top of the key. Right side is Paxson. Pax drives in, shoots off the glass. Here comes Paxson back for the Bulls. The hoop makes it a one-point game. Horace Grant in from the left for the dunk. Horace Grant with 13. And here we are knocking on the door one more time with 9.05 left. Milwaukee wants to slow everything to a walk. They want it in the half-court game, both ends of the floor. Lucas right side, standing dribble against Paxson. Lucas on the move out between the circles, takes it left to Ricky Pierce. Pierce against Pippen, outside jumper, good. Lucas leaps pass ahead to Ricky Pierce, shoots on Corzine, back it in. Ricky Pierce hit the shot over Corzine, he's got 17. Milwaukee up by five. Lucas, cross court left, Terry Cummings. Fakes on Grant, turns, fakes, lean in, shot, banked in. Cummings with 20, Milwaukee up seven. Doug Collins takes time. They're on their feet in the Mecca with 7.44 left on the Bulls Network. Milwaukee with full court pressure on as Scotty Pippen brings it up against Ricky Pierce. Pippen into the front court. Pippen off to the left with 14 on the shot clock. Jordan has it foul line, down the lane, drops it off to Horace Grant, misses the layup, but Corzine there to tip it in. And again, it's the Bulls scoring inside. They cut it to five with 7.23 left. Lucas around a Brewer screen, works off to the right, eight to shoot. Here's Pierce against Pippen. Pierce backs his way in the lane, fadeaway shot, blocked by Pippen, cleared by Grant, off to Paxson. Here comes Scotty with a lob to Pippen in for the left side. Uh, Scotty gets the shot up and an offensive off foul called on Pippen as he drove in on a lob pass from Paxson. That's big trouble for Scotty Pippen now. That's number five. He went right in on the big guy. Scotty Pippen. Five. Pippen. Banged into Pressy as it turned out. Six. Sellers is in. Pippen is out. 7.01 left. Oakley swings it right side to Jordan. 15 to shoot. Michael on the drive in from the left. Lays it up. No, but a foul call. Jordan came in from the right side. Went down the lane with the left hand attempt and drew the foul. Terry Cummings. Got the foul on Terry Cummings who had to come over to try to stop him. Michael, that's the first time Michael has gotten near the basket in the second half. Michael, three of four free throwing in the game. Four out of five. He's hit his last four. 16-point score. The Milwaukee lead is four with 6.26 left. So Dale Threat back in for the Bulls, replacing John Paxson. Jordan hits the next one. It's a three-point Milwaukee lead. Here's Horace Grant. Cummings top of the circle. Grant all over him. Right side is Pressy. Eight on the shot clock. Pressy on the move against Jordan. Down the lane. Lefty layup. In and out. And Charles Oakley the rebound. Here's Lucas behind the back. Moves to Pierce for the layup. Nicely done. The Milwaukee Bucks up five. 
19 points for Ricky Pierce in the game. Yeah, I didn't want to see come in. Lucas really burning the Bulls here. Michael Jordan off to the left, takes it down the lane to the left, in deep, jump pass to three, right back to Jordan, top of the circle, jumper, good. Michael Jordan connecting from out front, it's a three-point game again. Jordan with 19, 83-80, 519 left. A typical Central Division game. <laughs> oh, you got it right, Jim. <laughs> to the right is Percy. Standing dribble against Jordan, 12 on the shot clock. Brewer plays the ball to Cummings, top of the circle. Cummings against Grant. Grant knocks it away to Jordan, up court to Horace. Grant on the breakaway. Cummings closing. That's a breakaway foul. Bernie Fryer says no. What is a breakaway foul, then, in this league? All the way. He never got it from the side. He said he got it from the side. He's saying he was going for the ball. That is a breakaway foul. Yes, sir. Horace Grant shoots two. Should be two free throws plus the ball. Horace around and in with the first one. That's 14 points for Horace Grant tonight. The ball's down two, 459 remaining. Horace Grant again. That's it. It's a one-point game with just about five minutes left. John Lucas is standing dribble directing traffic out near the center. Shot clock at 11. Lucas works to the right. Out front is Pressy. Pressy with six to shoot. Lucas at three. Good for the right. There he is. Sticking it hard, right? Five points for Lucas. Milwaukee up four. Out front is Jordan, eight to shoot. Michael Jordan against Pressy, in from the right. Four on the clock, Jordan double teamed. Sedale Tweet shoots the long one on Lucas. Good, three, yes sir. Second shot by Lucas, game tied at 87. Lucas with six. Michael Jordan brings it up for the Bulls. Scotty Pippen in the game, four summers. Jordan in the front court against Pressy. Michael on the drive, down the lane in deep, shoots off the glass, banked it in. Michael Jordan puts the Bulls up, 89-87. Milwaukee in the front court. Moncrief right side against Jordan. Out front they play to Pressy. Left corner is Cummings against Grant. Cummings short shot in the lane. Banked around and in. Oh, ties the game. Cummings got 22. Tough shot. He's what got a all player. he can handle though with Horace. Yeah. Horace has played him so well. Michael Jordan up court for the Bulls against Pressy. Michael and Bate works foul line down the lane to the right. Fadeaway jumper. Good right baseline. Michael Jordan puts the Bulls up to 23 points for Jordan. Here's Lucas in the front court for Milwaukee. 210 left. 91 89 score. Moncrief off to the right. Guarded by Jordan. Head of the circle. Pressy. Left side is Lucas. Over the top. Cummings. Cummings against Grant. Eight to shoot. Terry Cummings dishes it for Lucas. Lucas right back to Cummings. Five on the clock. Cummings left baseline and a foul on Michael Jordan. That's Michael's only third. The third team foul on the Bulls. Oh, first in the last two minutes. He was going to the hoop, though. I think you'll find out, Jim. And no, he was not. That's what Mr. Mahalik said. Yeah, I thought he was going down the sideline, but it, he'll be at the line to shoot, too. Now, Sedale's got to step out on Cummings. Charles has to keep the uh, signal off. Cummings pushes the second one up. That one is in. It's a one point Bulls lead, 91 90. I've been here before. <laughs> so Dale Threed into the front court. Here's Street swings the pass left baseline. Great for a shot and out. Rebound Moncrief. Milwaukee with a chance at the lead. 133 left. Good shot. Nice Good shot. Ten, the circle. Sigma with 15 to shoot. Out front is Lucas on the walk to the right. 12 to shoot. 39 on the big one. Lucas on the drive against Michael Jordan. Eight on the clock. Lucas left side Moncrief. Shot clock at five. Long jumper Moncrief. Good from the left. Milwaukee up one. Sidney Moncrief's first field goal of the game. Doug Collins takes time with 31 seconds left. 92-91 Milwaukee on the Bulls network. Seconds to, to go here. Uh, they're seven seconds different. The Bulls have one timeout and a 20. The Bucks have two timeouts and a 20. And both teams are in the penalty now, free throw wise. Crowd is on their feet here at the Mecca. Milwaukee trying to hang on. They built a big lead early. Bulls rallied back, went in front. Now the Bucks on the outside shot from the veteran Sid Moncrief have a one point lead. Sedale three brings it up. This may be the last possession for the Bulls. Three against Moncrief. 
Shot clock at 16. Three between the circles. Off the ball. Foul called on Pressy. Michael Jordan shoots two. Paul Pressy with his fourth. That coaching staff didn't like that at all. Frank Hamlin, Matt Calvin, and that whole crew up down there. Michael Jordan, 5 of 6 from the line tonight. 23 points, 11,052. Hooted up. Jordan delivers. Good. Game tied at 92 with 20 seconds left. Now Oakley for Corzine as Michael Jordan has a chance to put the Bulls in front. Then the Bulls will have to dig in defensively. Oh, man. They may take a timeout here. They've got a couple of them with a 20. Jordan delivers the next one. Good. The Bulls have the lead. Milwaukee takes it in play. Here's Lucas coming up for 18 seconds. John Lucas, 14 seconds. Standing dribble outside. They're going for the win. Lucas, head of the key, Sigma top of the circle. Eight seconds, Sigma down the lane, shoots back, no foul called. Six seconds left. The foul is on Scotty Pippen. Doesn't matter to the limit. Doug Collins saying he was on the dribble. Pippen is fouled out with eight points scored. Six seconds left. Okay, you got the best free throw shooter in the league on the free throw line. Jack Smith, Sigma wanted the ball. He was going to take it to the hoop, hoping he got fouled. Lucas leaves the game, Reynolds in. Scotty Pippen leaves the game, but it's good to see the way this young man played here, Jimmy. Hurt himself with some fouls, but now Sigma staring up at that glass. Hasn't been on the line all night. Hasn't scored in the game. Six seconds for it. Pressure player. Sigma takes his time and delivers good. That ties it at 93. Sellers is in for Pippen. Averaging 18 plus points a game. Jack Sigma takes his time shooting for the lead with six seconds left. No good rebound. Oh. Chicago Oakley holds oh. it. And we'll be back after these messages on the Bulls Network. Oh, oh. All tied up ball game, 93 all. Jimmy, Moncrief made his only basket of the night a long, about 20-footer, to give them the lead. And then Sigma had a chance to give him the lead again after Michael gave the Bulls a lead with a free throw. Sigma has not scored in the game, stepped to the line on a drive, six seconds to go. Made the first one, 95% shooter, leads the league in that department. Missed that second one, Oak with the rebound. Timeout, Bulls. No timeouts left for the Bulls except 820. And they have the ball at the timeline, needing to get it inbounds. The Bulls on the floor, Corzine, Paxson, Threat, Jordan, and it's Brad Sellers who will make the inbounds pass at the timeline. Getting it in ball, that's the, getting it in bounds, that's a big thing. Sellers looking, he comes into Jordan. Michael down the lane to the left to the hoop, reverse layup. No, but a foul call with two seconds left. Michael Jordan got taken out. He's hurt. He's hurt. I think he got the win knock. They thought he had the... On the 34. His hand, 20-second time is taken. The last one, he went around, went up for the shot. And he got oh, man. yanked by Terry Cummings, yanked down. 20 second, time out. 20 second time out. Five fouls on Cummings and Michael Jordan fell heavily. You know what you fear is the shoulder is dislocated. The way he got yanked. Now remember, the Bulls do not have a timeout left. He's okay. I think so. He's okay. Mom and dad watching him. <laughs> Michael Jordan is up with two seconds left. He's got two free throws coming. I know his mom and dad are watching this game, and Michael's all right. And by the way, I loved it when you sent that picture of him at bat for the All-Star game, right, Jim? <laughs> right. Michael, about five, seven years old with a bat in his hand. Okay, here it is again. we we'll take a look at oh, you viewers on radio. By Sigma, it looked like. Right, Cummings went around, pulled him on the left shoulder. Michael tried to reverse it off the glass. Two seconds to go here. So Michael will shoot two. Got to have at least one, MJ. Missed his first of the night, made seven in a row. This one's on the way, bullseye. The Bulls by one. 26 for Jordan. Horace Grant at the scorer's table. Comes in. Horace. Packed. 
Max is out. Somebody got to defend. If they do throw long, I I'm sure they'll take a timeout, Jim. They got to, of course. They've got to take a timeout right. here with two seconds to go to get it to half court. But if it's missed and Quark comes up with a rebound or Grant, it could be all over. Michael takes his time, offers the second free throw. Perfect. The Bulls by two. Milwaukee takes time back after these messages on the Bulls network. 22nd, when they were out of timeouts, it was an official's timeout to make sure that everybody was back on the floor so they they didn't get uh, penalized in that situation. The Bulls have no timeouts, Jim. A 22nd timeout now by the Bucks. All right, Milwaukee with a ball at the timeline. Sigma, Pierce, Hodges, Lucas. Somebody see will inbound, and now Horace Grant comes over to put some pressure on him. Don't listen to him, Horace. He says, stand there. Don't listen to him. Here we go. Two seconds left. The clock doesn't start till it touches a player inbounds. Cressy looking to bring it in. He comes in to Hodges. Hodges shoots a 20-footer up and no, the game is over. The Bulls win it. It's over. It's, it's over. over. It ain't over till it's, it's over. This is over. This one's over. The Bulls win by two. The final score, the Bulls, 95. The Milwaukee Bucks, 93. Michael Jordan with the two free throws. That proved to be the game winner with two seconds left. And we'll be back to wrap it up after these messages on the Bulls Network. By two, 95 to 93. Michael Jordan's two free throws with two seconds left. That proved to be the winner tonight for the Bulls as they had to come from behind for this win. Talking about Michael Jordan, well, he had our Budweiser dunk of the game. He zigged and zagged like a zipper as he drove the baseline around Terry Cummings. That dunk is for you. Michael Jordan with 27 points. The Bulls with this victory have won 11 road games this year. This equals their entire output of last year. And the Bulls improve their overall record to 28 victories against 20 defeats. They're 3-0 against the Milwaukee Bucks. The Milwaukee record drops to 23 and 22. At home, the Bucks are 16-8. Final score again, 95-93 Bulls.